Hey everybody, welcome to another episode from wholesalersflyshop.com. This time I'm bringing you an emerger pattern. This is a really cool one that I can't wait to get on the water and try out. Um, this is an iris caddis, and uh, it's meant to imitate an emerging hydropsyche caddis, which I just tied not too long ago, so you can go back and find my hydropsyche nymph pattern. And this would be the next stage of it. This is the emerging caddis pattern. Um, really cool, really buggy and it's made to be fished right in the film. Now you can put a little bit of floatant on it if you want to ride it high this will take some floatant and ride on top if you want but it's really meant to be this hydropsyche caddis coming out of its casing right in that film and trying to get up on top. So uh, a caddis if you know spends very little time on the top. Once it hits the top it takes off with its wings. It doesn't ride like a mayfly does. So Really, you really want to be swinging this, and um, I'm sure you're going to get most of your hits right as the swing comes up and gets in that film. Um, anyways, guys, have fun tying it. Really simple pattern, considering um, using hackle, sorry, using squirrel dubbing for hackle, which is a really cool idea, and I like it a lot. So give this one a try. I'm sure you're going to have fun tying it and have good results with it. All right, here we see the iris caddis in the vise. Let's get into tying it. Very cool looking fly. For a hook, I'm going to use a 419 fire hole hook. This is a size 14, tied in a size 14 or a size 16. For a thread, I'm using 12 watt nano silk. This is the brown. You can use whatever color you want here, black, olive, whatever. This nano silk is small and makes a nice, nice tight wrap, so. For the tail on this, for the shuck, I'm using some Golden Sulfur um, EP fibers. Uh, you can use Antron if you want. You want to use like an amber colored Antron or something like that. I have some EP fibers that are a nice color that match it pretty close to what I want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it down around the bend a little bit. Give it that caddis curve to it. And then we're going to trip up. Trim off the front, we'll set this aside for another one later. And then for the distance, I want about the distance of the hook gap here for my tail. So we're just going to trim that off about the distance of the hook gap. And that's going to be the trailing shuck. Now for the body, I'm using, this is from Nature Spirit, it's Tracer Squirrel Dub Natural Fox Squirrel. And uh, I like using this stuff, I like using Fox Squirrel anytime I can. Um, SLF is great, but this is just natural, nothing added to it, no Antron or Flash or anything. And that's what I want for this, no Flash. So, what I'm going to do for the abdomen of this is I'm just going to make a nice tight noodle on here. I'm going to get that back there to that tail. And I'm going to start wrapping this forward. Now, you can do this natural color if you want. Um, you could do a little bit of an olive mixed in with it, it would be great. This is actually mimicking a hydropsyche caddis, and they are green, so an olive would work well, but it'll work well in this color too. So we're going to wrap that about two-thirds of the way up there. A little bit more on here, there we go. And if it gets a little buggy, that's fine, we're just going to finish that off there. A couple of these are a little long, I'm going to trim them. Now next thing we're going to do is put on the wing. For the wing I'm using some cream colored Antron and I'm going to make it into a loop. I'm going to set this loop on top and I want it to go just about the length of the body. I want the bend of that loop to be right above where that tail starts. I'm just going to wrap that on there. Now you can see there I'm right above that tail might shorten it up just a hair and then I'm going to bring it back there to where I ended all that dubbing at and make sure I keep it up on top. So now we're going to trim this off and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put the hackle on this. 
For the hackle, I'm using that squirrel dub again. And uh, some people like to touch dub this where they'll put some wax on their thread and just touch the thread with the uh, squirrel dub. I like the dubbing loop it. I think it gets just a little more buggier and more sturdy if I dubbing loop it. So I'm going to dubbing loop it on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this squirrel dub. I'm just going to pinch out pieces of it like this. And I'm going to lay them down on a strip on the table and make about an inch, inch and a half long strip of squirrel dubbing. Okay. And then I'm just going to stick that in my dubbing loop here. So we're going to stick that in the dubbing loop. Make sure I get this twisted on here right. There we go. Stick it in the dubbing loop and then I'm going to twist it. Spin it all up. Take that nice big dubbing loop there. You can see it's nice and buggy and we're just going to wrap that on there. And this is going to be the hackle. And I want it to be buggy like that. And as I wrap it, I'm just going to pull them back and continue to pull them back. And it's going to stand up kind of like hackle. So it's actually pretty cool, pretty cool way to do it here. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. Go over, double that up a little bit. Get it on there thick and buggy looking. And then we're going to tie it off at the front. So just trim that off there, trim off the rest of my loop. And we're going to come in with a whip finish. Maybe one or two whip finishes and we're good there. Now I just want to make sure I get this loop up on top where I want it. Clean that up again and that is exactly how I want that fly to look. Very buggy. This is to be fished like a wet fly. You can even put a little bit of floating on that get that to float in the film. But it'll make a great wet fly or it's an emerger is what it is. So when it gets in that film that's where you're going to be productive with it. Okay guys, I hope you like that pattern as much as I did. I am looking really forward to getting this one on the water. We have a lot of Hydropsyche caddis in our area. If you pick up the rocks and one of the local streams in particular, you're going to find a lot of them. And um, it's just a cool all around pattern. We have a lot of caddises in our area. So when I'm wet fly swinging this spring here, I'm going to be trying this one out and I hope you will too. So. Give it a try, have fun tying it. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me at wholesingersflyshop.com, or sorry, wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. Those emails go right to me and uh, don't go through the shop, so I can answer them right away. And uh, if you need any of the materials, like always, wholesingersflyshop.com is your place to go. So have fun tying, guys, and until next week when you bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.